Coach, talk about the the win versus Utah, especially coming off the uh, disappointing loss to Colorado a game, which really dominated through and through. Yeah, I thought the the way the team responded was absolutely fantastic. I thought our energy from beginning to end of the Utah game was unbelievable, um, and that that pressure was something that we needed against an unbelievable Utah team in their possession and the way they break teams down. Um, but I thought we made them uncomfortable, uh, and that was a, a big reason for our success. A lot of contributions from players off the bench. You know, most notably, you know, Whitney was terrific on Sunday. Uh, how do you keep the players on the bench ready to go? Uh, every week we talk about making sure that you're prepared, playing practice like it's your game, so that when you get to the game, you're you're not going in there uh, a little bit behind. You're 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 playing at the tempo of everyone else. And I thought uh, Whitney, as well as even Mandy, playing in a different role for us, and uh, some of the other players that came in and, and just gave us solid minutes. Uh, I thought everyone was locked in on uh, Sunday. Yeah, you mentioned players taking on different roles. How deep is this team? Because not only do you have a deep bench, but you also have you know, certain girls that can fill different positions. No, I, I think uh, this team is very deep. Um, we, we average, I think, around 17 players a game and uh, could probably push into 18 and 19 pretty comfortably. Um, but there's some versatility, and that's something that we pride ourselves on, and, and we coach to that end so that players are, are willing and able to, to slide into roles as people, as we run our numbers forward, they can slide into different positions and be comfortable. So um, I'm, I'm excited about our depth and where we're going with it. Two big games this weekend, Cal and Stanford ranked opponents. And what are some keys to having success against them? Uh, defensively, we're going to have to bring the same kind of effort we brought against Utah. Both teams are very good possession teams, similar to Utah. So uh, I think we are prepared in that regard. Um, but more importantly, we're going to have to continue to bring an offense with us and uh, put our shots on frame and, and make teams defend us for longer periods of time. And uh, if we can do that, I think we'll have a shot. What else do you carry over from Sunday's win for Friday against Cal? Well, the one thing that we talked about again was just bringing the same intensity. Um, that was finally the intensity we've been waiting for and looking for all season. Um, we still have to lock in a little bit more on our attention to detail, but it was still far better. Um, and that's where we're going to grow from. That's where we're going to be able to, to really attack teams in, in a different kind of way. They've seen us play good soccer. They've seen us be attacking oriented. Uh, but now we've brought the intensity to match, and I think that's a dangerous recipe. Friday, you have a noon game against Cal. How does that adjust your preparation? Um, fortunately, we train in the morning, uh, so it won't throw us too far off. I, I think the, the team will, it actually may be a little easier to get up, eat, and then go to the field. It'll be somewhat of uh, a normal routine. Um, so I'm, I think we'll be prepared for that. Um, the heat will still be there. We had two hot games on the weekend, so I think we'll be prepared for that. Um, it, it should work out pretty well.